Hey, it's the Ultimate Handyman. Today, I wanna to show you how to remove tile from a concrete slab. So we're gonna get right into the video. First thing we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna get a hammer and we're gonna start hitting each one of the tiles so we can put some fractures in the tiles. This is gonna to help to loosen the bond between the tile and the uh, concrete subfloor. Next, we're gonna take a rotor hammer. I have a Makita rotor hammer and we're gonna put a chisel bit in it and we're gonna set the hammer to the hammer setting so it doesn't spin like a drill and we're going to use this to chisel up the tiles. So removing the tiles from the floor took about four to five minutes. It went really quick and the reason it went so fast is because I fractured the tiles in the beginning. If you're not going to fracture the tiles it makes it a lot harder to chisel them up even with the rotor hammer. So always fracture the tiles with a regular hammer beforehand. Once all the tiles are broken up, you can clean up all of the broken pieces and we're gonna be ready for the next step. We're gonna be left with the mortar that they use to adhere the tiles to the concrete. You can see how it's all rough and nasty looking. So I'm gonna take the same rotor hammer and chisel setup and we're gonna use that to remove the mortar from the floor. And I like to put a little bit of pressure downward into the concrete slab because the concrete is much harder than the mortar, so the chisel will just kind of glide along the surface of the concrete and it'll just pop the mortar right up. The mortar is a lot softer than the concrete material and it basically just pulverizes it and it'll leave you with a nice, smooth surface to work with. Once all the mortar is chipped up, you can go ahead and sweep everything out of the room and then vacuum up all the dust with a shop vac. If you found this video helpful, can you do me a huge favor? Can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? I'm trying to get the channel to over 10,000 subscribers, and I can really use your help to get there. Also, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out when I post my latest how-to videos. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you the next project. And oh yeah, check out my other videos right here.